and welcome to my Spanish class again. Um, I'm happy to have you. And I'm just gonna go over a few of the things having to do with terminology and how we talk about Spanish language culture. So here are some terms for talking about Spanish language culture. And I hope you can see um, these times have led to some unconventional <laughs> ways of doing things. Um, all right, so here are some terms to talk about Spanish language culture. Now, one thing that I hear a lot is people use the word Spanish as a blanket term for Spanish language culture. So that's something that I hear relatively often. Students will say things like Spanish people and what they actually mean is people within Spanish language culture. So here's a little help um, for some of the terminology. All right, now the word Spanish is a word that we use to refer to the language itself, that is to say the language of Spanish. There is only one other use for the word Spanish. It's not a blanket term for all Hispanic people. Uh, and it can't be used in that way because that is incorrect. Uh, the only other way to use the word Spanish is if you are referring to a person from Spain. So if you say Spanish food and you are referring to food from Spain, that is correct. If you say Spanish person and you are referring to someone from Spain, that use is also correct. If you are saying Spanish food and you mean food that is within the uh, area of Spanish language culture, that is to say Latin American food or Caribbean uh, food that has to do with Spanish speaking people, then that is an incorrect use of that word. And I will be marking off uh, for that terminology. That is that is an incorrect uh, way of talking about Spanish-speaking people. Um, another word that I hear thrown around a lot is the word Latino. Now, in the United States, we often use the word Latino or Latina to mean someone who is Hispanic. Um, actually, the term Latino um, generally was born out of a desire to talk about all people groups whose origin language was in Latin. So the term Latino is a bit confusing. Uh, some people actually use this term to mean, in, in academics anyway, they use this term to mean people whose origin language was Latin. So that would include people like Italians or French people or Portuguese speaking people. So that term can also be a little confusing. So just be aware that when you're using that or if you try to use that term, you might need to clarify what you mean. In Spanish, um, there are two terms that are often used a lot, which is Latino America and Ibero America. So Ibero America is to refer to people groups that came from the Iberian Peninsula, that is to say, Portugal and Spain. Latino America, which is now what we call in a, in a very broad sense, Central and South America in the English language spoken in America, is a term that actually was meant to incorporate all of the people groups within these two Central and South American countries that spoke languages that were of Latin origin. So it would have included, you know, Haitians who speak French, for example, or um, Brazilians who speak Portuguese, and, you know, other people groups who spoke languages other than Spanish. So that's something that can also be kind of a little bit confusing. Here are some things to do when in doubt of how to talk about things. So the correct term would always be Spanish speaking culture. That's a correct terminology. So that's something that you can use if you're confused about maybe what country it came from or you're not really sure. Another term that you could use, right, is Spanish speaking people or Spanish speaking person. 
that's a that's a blanket term that is right person whose uh, language is originally Spanish and uh, you know you you don't necessarily need to know what country of origin they're from but the best thing to do in this scenario by far is to be specific if you know the country of origin that you're talking about then just say it if you're talking about Mexican people or you're talking about Mexican food or you're talking about Chilean food or you're talking about Argentinian food or Argentinian people or Peruvian people say that right because similar to how the United States and Britain are different or the United States and Scotland is different or the United States and Australia is different or the United States and New Zealand is different even though we are all English-speaking people all of these countries are actually countries that are very different from each other and they have very different cultures. There are actually 22 different countries in the world that speak Spanish as their primary language. And each of those countries is vastly different from the other countries that also speak Spanish. So similar to how you wouldn't call a British person American and you wouldn't call an American person an Australian, you wouldn't call a Mexican person a Spanish person because they are not from Spain. You wouldn't call a Spanish person an Argentinian person and you wouldn't confuse the cultures of those people groups. That is a very similar kind of analogy. So when in doubt, always find and try to use the correct term. Those are some things to think about as you're going to be writing a lot of cultural drop boxes. So it's just some terminology and some things to keep in mind as we move forward through the semester. Thanks, and I'm sure I'll see you soon.